Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. People read the comments and it's really good when you leave a comment and it helps a bunch of people. That's really good. So I'm going to read the message in its entirety and then I'll do my best to answer the question. I actually haven't read this one. The person's name is Mason and I'll leave their last name out of it. And the subject is self-teaching and preparation for calculus. Hi, my name is Mason. I'm an undergraduate student getting ready to start the calculus sequence. It's pretty exciting. I'm currently in math 112, which is trig pre-calc. And we'll be starting calculus in the summer, about six weeks from now. I was looking for some good resources to start studying calculus before I take the course, so I can have a leg up. I haven't taken a a math course in about seven years, so I'm a little rusty with everything. Thank you. Yeah, so tons of options. Thanks to the internet, there are many, many options beyond books. So method one, which I think is a great method, but it does cost some money, is just go online and pick up a used calculus book. That's one thing you should have. You should have a book. It's fine to have videos and resources, but it's really nice to have a book. My advice for you would be to find out what book your college uses for calculus and then get an older edition of that book. Chances are they might use the book by Stewart or the book by Larson or maybe the one by Thomas. I would say actually get all three. Go online and find used copies and you can probably find older editions for less than about $10 a piece. This is of course assuming that you're in the US. Um, if you're in a different country, shipping is always an issue. Um, so that that varies. It's like if I was trying to get books in Spanish. I tried to do that and I had a really hard time. Anyways, so books, that's a good idea. Another thing you could do is watch videos online. So YouTube has tons of videos. There's all kinds of great math channels. I have a playlist on my channel for Calculus One. It has like little short videos. It has hundreds of videos. Um, I also have a playlist for like lectures for Calculus One. If you want to spend some money, uh, go to my website or check um, the, my website's mathsorcerer.com, by the way, or check the description. I have courses on Udemy. Um, I have two different Calculus One courses. I have my regular Calc One course that has assignments, tons of assignments and individual sections with little videos. And then I have a new course, which is my lectures course, which is the full lectures you see on YouTube, plus additional ones, plus assignments plus a final um, exam, I believe. So it's it's pretty intense and you've got those assignments there, which is really, really nice. But a book will do it and you've got the books, uh, videos on YouTube, you can just watch those and that should do it, right? That should really help you prepare for calculus. But get the book that your college is gonna be using, right? That makes a huge difference because you'll have a leg up, you know? You'll, you'll go into class the first day and the teacher will be lecturing. You'll say, oh yeah, I know what he's talking about. Oh, that was the example in the book because you've read the book, right? You've self-taught there's nothing like being self-taught when you go into a college classroom i remember my very first semester in college i took this uh, programming class it was called something like introduction to computers or introduction to programming and they use c programming and i had taught myself how to code in c and of course you know i sat there and i was you know correcting the teacher actually shouldn't you have a semicolon there <laughs> so it's lots of fun be that person right um, needless to say, I got an A, but it was a really fun class. So you can do the same thing with math, right? You can self-teach, you can go in there and you can be a rock star. So uh, if anyone has uh, any advice for Mason, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have questions for me, you can ask me by clicking my about page uh, on YouTube or even better, I tend to notice these more are if you go to my website, mathsorcerer.com, there's a contact button somewhere. Just type in the information there, fill it out, hit send, and it goes to my email. I notice those more than my other things because it doesn't stick out. My, my spam filter picks stuff up sometimes, but these, these get through usually. So if you have questions, ask. If you have any advice for Mason, please leave a comment. Good luck.